Base coat and color application can totally change the look of natural nails. In this video, we are going to talk about mistakes that may lead to the look that you didn't expect. Hello, I'm Anastasia. Today we are going to talk about natural nail overlay. It can be done using gel or soft gel or gel polish. Today many brands offer special thick consistency base coats or builder in a bottle or structure gel that can be used to create beautiful overlays. Many nail technicians are so desperate to apply base coat and color evenly and to have a smooth surface which is important. But what if I tell you that these nails, as well as this set, they do have a perfect smooth surface? But does it mean that they have the right structure and will they last long? Not necessarily. That's why I believe that the right structure is much more important than just the beautiful shiny surface. Correct structure of the nail not only looks beautiful and elegant, but also protects your natural nail and makes them resistible to breaks. To achieve that, you need to build the apex in the center or a little closer to the cuticle for short nails. You need to have thin product along the sidewalls and near the cuticle, as well as on the free edge. The product should be very thin. If you will follow these simple rules, you may turn almost any nails into beautiful and elegant. While doing the opposite, you may have the look that you will not really enjoy, especially after three weeks when the nails will grow out, and also it might be dangerous and harmful for the natural nail blade. Let's talk about the common mistakes. First one is product removal before the application. This is very common when a client comes with an old product, you want to file it off first and then you do the new application. If you use the sock off method, you will not have this problem. But when filing off, it is important to leave the surface smooth. If it will be like that, then you will really have problems on applying the new product smooth. Recently, I received a question from one of my students. She asked that if we are going to even out the surface with a thick consistency base coat anyways, then does it really matter what the surface is? And yes, if the natural nail has some dips or imperfection, this is why this base coat are designed for. But why would you do that to yourself? It's much easier and faster to apply any color or base coat on the surface that is already perfectly smooth. Next mistake is applying too much product on the nails with a deep natural curve. Some people are lucky to be born with a beautiful deep natural curves. By the way, usually they can grow their nails really long. For these clients, you need to apply the product thin. If you will build the apex and apply too much product, it will look like something like that. We will make these beautiful nails look even more curved. So instead, you need to apply a thin product. You should not build the apex like you usually do, because usually these nails do not even need that much strength. We only want to outline their natural beauty. So once you see these beautiful long nail beds, do not apply too much. Next mistake is applying too much product closer to the free edge. Sometimes nail technicians do this to try to protect the nails more, but actually we will get the opposite effect. If you have too much product on the free edge as they grow out, there will be too much pressure in this area, so these nails are most likely to break or have cracks on the sides, while just having too much product on the free edge will also make them look bigger and wider and usually we do not want that, especially for short nails. Next one is flat nails or no apex at all. Some nail technicians are so concerned with having so-called natural looking nails that they forget about the apex. If the client has extremely short nails, it is okay, but for nails that are slightly longer, it is crucial, as apex build the strength and make them resistant to breaks. Without apex, the enhancement will not be strong enough, while for certain nail types such as damaged or ski jump, apex will also make them look more elegant. Next mistake is too much product or the apex is too thick. So having too much product even in the right spot is still not okay and not healthy for natural nails. 
first of all they will look thicker as they grow out you can also immediately tell that they do look like some kind of enhancement and also if the nails are thin or peeling or damaged it will not make them feel better it might actually damage them by having too much pressure on the natural nail plate my personal opinion is that the goal of any overlay or enhancement is to make beautiful nails no matter which length or shape and to make them look as close to natural as possible by applying too much on the apex we are doing the opposite next mistake is very common is applying too much product near the cuticle sometimes it happens because the color we are using is not intense enough and we're trying to add more and more near the cuticle and do not even notice how thick it is the main rule for the cuticle area whether it is just an overlay or acrylic gel poly gel any kind of enhancement the product there should be as thin as possible having too much product near the cuticle area will also make them not pretty as they grow out and also may lead to product lifting and the last but not least mistake is thickness on the sides which is very common if the product you are using is very thin consistency or too runny so if you notice that once you apply the color or the base coat the product runs to the sides the best solution here is to turn the client's hand around and let the gravity help you another solution may be using a thicker consistency base coat or a builder in a bottle they stay there and they do not run to the sides as fast when applying the base coat or the color keep the rhythm do not spend too much time as the time goes by you know that it probably may go to the side so always check the nail from the different perspectives before curing it in the lamp if it happened, do not worry, simply take off the sticky layer and file off the rest. And you can use this trick for any mistakes when you apply too much product. If you applied not enough, this is the same, just stop and add the missing product. It was my overview of the most common gel overlay mistakes. Now let me guys know which of those have you ever done. I am personally am definitely guilty of all of them when I was learning. Thank you so much for watching. If you're first time here on my channel, consider subscribing as I post new tutorials and educational videos just like this one every week. And I will see you in my next one. Goodbye!